Hey guys, Eloi here with Apollo Scooters. Today we're going to show you how we tested the Phantom to make sure it was safe. You can expect the same process to be made for every other future scooter that we'll sell in our lineup. So today we're gonna walk with you through the process of testing each of the components. Here we go. So the first component we test are the motors. As you know, electric motors can generate a fair amount of heat. As we addressed in the past video with the Phantom, we made sure to have heat sink on the motors to dissipate the heat. So that this is the first test we are doing. We are running the motors at 25 kilometers per hour with a load of 300 pounds on the scooter. And we are making sure that the bearing are not making any squeaking sound or are just not getting too hot. And also that the actual motor casing is, it, is in within a reasonable temperature. The second component we test on the Phantom are the springs. As you know, the Phantom has four springs and the angle is unique, so we need to make sure it's reliable and it's not making any noise in the long term. So as I mentioned, we are applying a load of 300 pounds of the suspension, simulating someone jumping on it. So we are making sure that the suspension stays straight. It's not shifting around. We are making sure that the bearing that work on the suspension shaft are also not getting too hot or making any noise uh, at all. And also we are making sure that the spring don't lose any bounciness. So basically we measure at the beginning of the test, the height of the Phantom. We apply all the, the load on it simulating if someone was jumping and at each inspection we are looking if it's coming back at the same height to be sure that the spring are not losing any uh, springiness. The third component is the main one of the scooter is the frame. We are just making sure that there is no crack appearing or that there's any uh, gap or loose creating with uh, all those jump on the scooter. So far everything held up perfectly. The fourth component is something also special about the Phantom, is the super powerful 1000 lumen headlight we put on it. We want to make sure that even if it stay on for nine hours a day, it's not getting uh, too hot and it's gonna last as well. So far, nothing has changed and the temperature of it won't exceed 20 degrees. The last thing we check with this testing rig are the tires. Because they are rolling constantly on rolls, uh, we are just making sure that they are not wearing prematurely and that they will last uh, a long time. Uh, we estimate that they're gonna last between 2,000 and 3,000 kilometers. So as you can see, this testing rig is completely different from the other one. In this one, we're testing the solidity of the stem and the folding mechanism. Uh, in that particular situation, we installed the old folding mechanism with the flat hook in the front because we wanted to see the difference between the old flat and the new hook that we showed you in the past video and the one you can see now. Um, and yes, there was a major difference because you can see now there's a gap creating when it's pulling on the stem and this is due to the hook bending uh, because it's not thick enough. Uh, in this test we are pulling 250 pounds on the stem and we are pushing 300 pounds. Uh, so we are trying to simulate uh, the pressure exerts on the stem when you break so you are moving forward and when you accelerate that you are moving backward pulling on the stem. So far everything is great uh, and this just confirmed that we did the right choice by having a thicker look on the folding mechanism. As I mentioned in the intro, we are aiming to test all our scooters through this method. So an important point for us was to make sure that this testing rig is modular. As you can see, we can adjust the height, the width, and the length of it. All of this is to keep with our goal of making Apollo the safest scooter on the market.